الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والآكبة للمتكين السلاة والسلام عليك يا سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين أما بعد فعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته uh, and welcome back to the channel uh, I'm a new face you're probably looking at thinking who is this person my name is Muhammad Abdul Rahman and this channel um, we're not sure about the name of it whether it's going to change or not but at the moment it's Rumi Talks uh, and Rumi or Romana is my sister Alhamdulillah uh, you've been watching her channel and um, Alhamdulillah you've made it very successful and it's keep uh, it keeps growing uh, Alhamdulillah so inshallah today is sort of my little debut um, to the channel and inshallah today I wanted to talk about something that's quite quite important that we need to understand um, something that relates to the deen and the dunya um, and it's about um, accepting people and allowing them and giving them a chance um, I'm I'm quite young myself uh, well you know some of you might consider me young some might consider me old depending on how old you are but um, I'm 23 at the moment and I started studying Islam when I was 16 and I I studied Islam for multiple years and when I came back and when I spoke to masjids and stuff like that whenever they would uh, ask me where I studied I told them I studied in Jami al Karam, right you might know it you might not know it but I studied in Jami al Karam, and once I graduated um, I I told people I studied here and they, they were they were happy they were like oh I've heard of that place Alhamdulillah is very nice uh, some of the students that come out of there are very well uh, educated and stuff like that Alhamdulillah um, I you know sort of uh, aspire to be like them students who are very um, well articulated and have a lot of knowledge inshallah one day um, but when I would tell them that I studied there they would ask me okay you know about other things and I'd, 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 I'd answer the question right and what would happen the people they would then ask my age right and the moment I tell them my age they would then stop I'd think about that. They say, "Oh, this person is—he's—he's he's quite young, yeah." He'd say, "Oh, he's quite young." So, let's say if I was going to a masjid, okay, for a, a a role as an imam, where I would read the five daily prayers and uh, other duties as well. Um, and I know this has happened to me, and it's happened to other uh, young imams as well, uh, up and down the country. They would give them a certain um, sort of. Uh, amount right uh, in terms of pay or anything like that right they'll give them a certain amount right uh, of respect and stuff like that as well but then once they found out the age they start thinking well this person is quite young and then things will start dropping right the like the, I don't want to say like levels of respect because I'm not here to talk bad about people but they will then uh, start to treat you differently right they won't treat you as an imam they treat you as like a younger son and it's not like you treat your sons bad or anything like that, but you sort of um, like expect them to like mess up and not do very well and stuff like that. So we really need to give people a chance, right? Whether you're young, whether you're old, you need to give those who are younger than you a chance. And like I said at the start, this is not only just about the deen, right? This can also be about the dunya. So when when we have like young kids, right, five, six, seven, right? Some of these kids are beautifully geniuses right they're so clever alhamdulillah but we don't give them the chance we look down upon them and say oh well they don't know right we we shouldn't say that we shouldn't say that we should we should try and help them okay like if they were doing something that maybe is wrong right we shouldn't just scold them and say what are you doing do you not know how to do this and how to do that right we shouldn't do that we should we should go to them and and try to do things in a different way right and uh, it reminds me of a story um of uh, Sayyidina Imam Hassan and, and Sayyidina Imam Hussein, uh, they were doing their wudu once and, and an elderly man was also doing his wudu but he did it slightly different or wrong right and then Sayyidina Imam Hassan and Imam Hussein being quite younger than that um, that person they didn't go up to him and say to him oh you're doing your wudu wrong right because as an elder right listening to from someone who's quite young that you're doing something wrong it can be it can be quite hard to listen to Right to the point where now, if like a kid went to their mom and dad, say, "Oh, mom, um, you don't know how to cook," 
right? Imagine saying that or to your dad, or oh, dad, you don't know how to cook, or you don't know how to drive a car properly, right? They're going to be thinking like, well, can you do it better? Do you know what I mean? It's, it's just a bit of a weird situation. So saying that Imam Hassan and saying that Imam Hussein, instead of talking to him directly, what they did was they, in between themselves, they talked about it. About the wudu, like okay, when we're doing wudu, we do it like this, and we, you know they were sort of teaching him through just talking to one another, right? And that way, that man overheard, right? And he knew that you know they were saying that Imam Hassan and Hussein, um, and he knew that maybe it was his his fault, and then from that he learned from that, right? So straight away, we shouldn't just um, look down upon kids and say that they don't they don't have a chance, right? We should always stand there and try and help them. Right, and usher them to do certain things as well. Right, we shouldn't just leave them to their own devices. We should sit there and talk to them and try and help them like that. Uh, and it can be very difficult, right? And not a lot of people, not a lot of people will understand this, right? Not a lot of women will understand this. But for men, it is it, the, the certain things that are just a bit different. Certain things that is hard to say, right? Um, like. Uh, I love you or you know these type of things and it, it, it might seem very weird right to some people but I know and I've, I've spoken to so many people and they say like I do love my family but I just I can't like I can't just say it and I say why not they say oh well I come from work and I be tired and I'm not, I, and I love them and I want to spend time with them but I'm tired and stuff like that and I'm like just even if you don't want to say it right show that you love them right be there for them Right, so when you're coming back from work and you're very tired, you've been stood up all day doing whatever, right? And you get home, your kids are, are happy. They're like, "Oh, dad's home." You know, we're gonna, I don't know, play hide and seek. We're gonna, you know, do this. We're gonna do that, right? But you you walk in the door and and you're like you're like this and you're ready to go to sleep, right? And they see that and and they like they get a bit disheartened, right? So we have to try our best to be in a situation where we we don't only just um. Even if we can't say it, right, at least we can show it. Because they say actions speak louder than words, right? And in a lot of cases, it's true, right? Um, so so that's one thing we need to keep in mind, okay? So And and it will be very weird for a lot of uh, women out there. And, and I know, and I know um, they, they won't understand the, the dynamic of being a male or anything like that, right? Which is, I mean, which is fine. Um, and I can clearly say as well that and not a lot of men know what women go through um and it's just it's just a back and forth really so with these sort of things it comes down to just sort of uh, understanding and stuff like that inshallah but back to the topic right about about um um giving people a chance right you really need to inshallah so um i'm i'm not i don't want to keep this video for too uh, make it too long inshallah um and i i hope um you've stuck around and you've listened to me and i know i'm I'm not the best speaker in the world right but i've i studied for a certain amount of years right and allah SWT is going to ask me ya Rahman, you've studied for these years what have you done to show that you've studied i currently teach online um to many students alhamdulillah and even they spoke to me and they said you should have more of a presence on show, social media so inshallah i've started up my um an instagram account well, it was the same one, but I've sort of changed it up a little bit. And inshallah, I'll make uh, some more videos on this YouTube channel as well. Inshallah, and I uh, invite you all to uh, subscribe, to like, to share it with friends and family. Um, because now, alhamdulillah, it's not only going to be my sister on this channel, it's going to be me as well. So inshallah, there'll be some more topics that, um, that men will relate to more than women. And likewise, there'll be some topics that women relate to more than, when, than men, inshallah. Uh, so we make du'a to Allah SWT, he, uh, he accepts our efforts, he allows us to um, become successful and truly everything comes from Allah SWT and this YouTube um, sort of system it all is all made by you guys, right? You, if, you guys, if you guys share it, subscribe, like, do whatever, inshallah, that's, that's, that's going to help us a lot more, inshallah. Um, so keeping it nice and short. Uh, we will uh, we will end here, inshallah. Uh, until next time, inshallah, uh, we will meet again. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.